Who is left out of the resurrection of the dead, he wants to know. Well, those people who uh, did not uh, do God's will in this world will not be able to uh, be resurrected. Or the Chafetz Chaim says that some people are resurrected, but they might be missing some of their limbs because they didn't do the mitzvahs they're supposed to do with their, with their limbs that they're supposed to do. So they might not be able to uh, uh, become alive with their whole, whole body and whole soul. But those people who uh, did, they were God-fearing people, did what they were supposed to do. They will be uh, able to uh, come alive again and, and live eternally. But it's called the Yom Adin HaGodol HaNoira, the great fearful day of judgment. That is who will be resurrected and who will not be resurrected. That's a very scary day. We have four times that we're judged by God. We're judged by God on Rosh Hashanah, and uh, person, when a person dies, a person uh, is judged uh, uh, the, the scary part, but who will get up for the eternal connection and clinging to God forever. That's a very scary uh, time for, uh, for the world at that time. Who will be will be able to, able to live and, and to uh, be eternally connected in the world to come. So, but the uh, person has to merit it, has to live a life of, of holiness and uh, purity in order to be able to, to live eternally, connect to God. Like we said before, we can only connect to him if we're, if we're holy. If we do his commandments, so we're holy, we'll be able to, we'll be able to connect. No, no, no.